The Supreme Court agrees to hear a case challenging a law in Texas and four other states which abolishes a defendant's ability to plead insanity. One America's Rachel Lacenas takes a look at the specific case taking center stage. The court at this time sentences the defendant uh, for the crime of capital murder to death. Back in 2009, a Kansas judge slapped the death sentence on Craig Kaler for the murders of four of his family members. Kaler argued he suffered from depression so severe that he experienced extreme emotional disturbance, which dissociated him from reality. Now the convicted murderer, who did not have the option to use an insanity defense, gets to make his case to the nation's highest court. SCOTUS will consider whether there's a requirement of the insanity defense under the 8th and 14th constitutional amendments, protecting due process and equal protection for everyone, regardless of race, socioeconomic status, and disabling condition. Currently, 46 states and the District of Columbia recognize an insanity defense, but under Kansas law, a defendant can only show evidence of a mental illness to prove they lack the intent to commit murder. While the definition of insanity varies from state to state, it generally refers to a person's mental state during the time of the crime. The insanity defense argues the defendant is not responsible for his or her actions during that criminal act. According to an eight-state study, the insanity defense is used in less than 1% of all court cases. And when the defense is used, it only has a 26% success rate. The mere presence, absence, or severity of any mental disorder does not by itself make a legal determination. That's very important because people think that just because someone has bipolar disorder, just because someone has schizophrenia, just because someone has an organic brain syndrome, that that means that they are insane. And that's not the case. Kaler's attorneys argue criminally punishing people for having a mental illness delegitimizes the criminal justice system. Advocates of the insanity defense say the issue will continue to be challenged in courts even beyond this case because of the prevalence of mental illness. The justices will look at the Kaler versus Kansas case in October when its new term begins. Rachel Senes, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.